What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock options analysis for this week of expiration. Remember, a week after from this coming week we have Nvidia's earnings coming, alright? And right off the gate, well look, analysts will start coming out now most likely. They will be coming out with whatever their price targets are, they will be upgrading it. Uh, they definitely want to push it as high as they can, which is fine, you know. But what I'm saying is just keep that in mind. That's going to happen this week quite a lot. With that, I'm seeing these options, quite huge options on NVIDIA on the call side, sitting at $1,000. This this is quite a steep wall over here. Like, that, that's quite a lot, 26000 <laughs> Like, it's just completely overshadowing any other calls or the puts on NVIDIA right now. So we'll talk about in this video the technicals in the confluence as if what type of options has a chance to make money going into this week and what type of options may go worthless. Just my opinion, nothing financial advice, just an educational opinion and we'll be going over the data. I'll be putting confluence together with the technicals and we'll, we'll do all of that. Now, I would highly suggest, guys, if you can check this video out on my channel that I did on NVIDIA yesterday, $975 or $824 this week. This will give you a head start on the technicals already. I'll still provide a bit of background. But not only that, I am excited to share one more very exciting news with you guys. So, I have started a new channel that is Junior Trader Dividend Portfolio channel. If you are interested to follow along in the journey of how I'm building this portfolio, what um, the objectives are and everything, I have done an intro video today. So check this out on my channel. Also subscribe if you want to follow along. And so this will be a, a long term dividend portfolio that I'm building. This is on like public facing dividend portfolio. And, you know, I'm starting with some amount and then I'm going over my thesis and my planning how I'm planning to build this so and I'll be sharing all the live updates with you guys as I build this uh, portfolio up from here so subscribe and you will you can find the link to my this channel as well in the description of this video and um, I yeah, just search for this or junior trader dividend portfolio and definitely guys subscribe take a look at this first video that I did it will give you a background information of what this channel is going to be about okay so let's get back to our NVIDIA here for the options. So I already showed you that we have a lot of calls sitting at $1,000, right? And black line is, guys, the uh, last day's closing price, which is Friday's closing price. Now, technically, what NVIDIA is in still, though, is in this uptrend. But at the same time, we are seeing that this thing is quite quite cooling off over here i'll show you on hourly interval in just a second as i said check that video out on my channel that i did yesterday that will give you a head start but anyways if we lose this pivot of 887 to 883 that's a little bit of a start of a problem or a cool off at least a little bit lower to the next level but 50 days moving average is sitting strong there like bulls still have a lot of area if they can hold you know they can hold we have 887 and 883 sitting. We are above 50 and 20 days moving average. And if I take you to the hourly interval, uh, we are still also above this 200 hours moving average and this swing pivot uh, trend line that has been ongoing. So bulls still have a lot of area to keep it up. But that's the this is the deciding area actually, 887 to 883. If we lose and eventually start losing 50 days moving average on daily and this trend line, then you can expect more cool off coming to 859. And then I expect any rebound might be shorted on this. But remember, this week all this this going this week is going to be tricky, and so would be the next week, guys, because analysts will be coming out with their upgrades or whatever. So your if you just want to have a dividing line on your sentiment, 887 and above. Things are still bullish in this technical structure on NVIDIA. Below that, it will start to look weaker, but it won't be fully weak until we uh, get below this trend line, 200 hours moving average as well, and 20 and 50 days moving average from the daily interval, okay? 
So that's a bit of high level gist. Again, check this video out. NVIDIA stock at 975 or 824 this week. You will get a lot more technical understanding um, when once you go through that video. All right. So let's come back here and let's go through this options data. So first of all, $1,000. This is for this coming week expiration. I had to double check. Am I even looking at the right date of expiration? Because I'm like, why are these $1,000 calls today? So again, options data, where it is, doesn't guarantee price is going to go there. It just tells you this sentiment of where the traders are betting their money. All right, so first one, $1,000. Is that a possibility, you ask, this, this coming week? So, all right, how much NVIDIA average range is these days? That is just shy of $28, right? So 28 times 5 is what? Um, maybe 130, 140 or so? Yeah, yeah, somewhere like that. Technically, it does puts it in a higher range above thousand dollars. But what in? Well, here's the thing: if Nvidia can close a good green candle above nine hundred and twenty-two, one of these significant levels, that's a break of structure that will at least bring Nvidia up to nine hundred and seventy-five. Now, thousand dollars, guys. That's the thing that we are looking at something here. So it all comes down to how analysts will come out this week trying to just push it higher and yeah if once we are above 922 that is thousand is still far away from this all-time highs 975 again earnings are coming out if they want to they can so <laughs> if i want to put a number on the probability of those thousand dollar calls i would maybe put it 45 to 50 because there's there's more than just technicals that will happen this coming week on nvidia and the week after that as well because just due to the earnings coming and analysts will be beating the drum of one one upgrade after the other guys just get ready all right so um yeah so otherwise um we are still bullish as long as we are 887 and above calls can be uh, calls are interesting to trade right um so that brings us to 950 and 900 where the maximum spike is 900 dollars call have more probability of making money than 1000 dollars call for sure and 900 has more probability than 950 as well because price is closer to that but again you have to see how much these calls are going for you you can see how much money oh sorry that's puts how much money you are putting down here right and even 950 are a bit cheaper, a lot cheaper than $900 call. But does 950 make sense here? Let's see. Well, it comes down to if it can get above 922, then 950 would make sense because 975 is the top. Again, you have to see the sentiment with the market. As long as we stay bullish above 887, those calls can be played. If you want to ask like what, what type of call I would look at, I would pick something between not too expensive that is 900 close by i would pick something close to like which is still expensive i mean that's why i like to trade with shares but if you are an options trader this is for you um not all the way to 950 but maybe pick something 940 or 935 just for the price sake as well uh, it's more of a balance right um but yeah 900 call if you want to make money on this you have to get the price to 920 first which means we are already close to 922. So you have to eventually, even if you buy $900 call, you are risking $2,000 almost on a one, one, you know, that's a lot of money. Um, and then, yeah, you on one option only, one contract, I mean. Um, and then you are still waiting for this resistance to break. So why not you limit your risk on the side of the, uh, down payment the premium that you will be paying and go a little bit higher because once we are above 90 922 we are most likely going to capture 935 or 40 which is what you would need to make money on so i won't pick these expensive ones just because there is again you still have to get out quite of resistance to make money on these calls because of the price of the premium going there but i won't uh, anything above 940 starts to get a bit risky in my opinion to to make the money um just because well un uh, well just because we have to get above 922 but if we can get above 922 that's where the resistance is sitting then anything that 
comes to after adding the premium cost comes to 960 960 or around because you still need to price to go higher to make some money on that then that's that may make you money but yeah the, the reason is that we have a high cap over here already 975 and that's why but yeah, any calls, guys, as long as NVIDIA stays above 887 are worth it. I mean, if you are an option trader, yeah, it's in your direction. Again, just, an, just my opinion, nothing more than that. You are solely responsible for your own decisions and outcomes, guys. All right, so let's take a look at the puts. So let's start off with, um, well, $800 puts, that's quite far. Uh, that's where we are seeing a spike as well. So 800, uh, guys, the thing is that, so we have a problem with $800 puts. Sorry if I said calls earlier on 800, that's puts. The problem is that the structure is not first of all right now downside. We also have 50 days moving every sitting, 20 days moving every sitting. We have this $824, lot of good support here sitting. And I showed you on the hourly interval as well, we have the swing trend line sitting. All right, we are above 200 hours moving average. Right now, price action is way too far from $800 puts not no right now that's just too far it's not worth it to trade 800 dollars puts i think these gonna be cooked uh worthless yeah 800 dollars puts are worthless guys in my opinion uh i'm pretty sure they're going they were going they must be going for very cheap yep ha. one option one contract is going for 59 dollars yeah but i think this 59 dollars is just down the drain i mean it's it's more like if you want to gamble fifty dollars on one contract, that's the thing to do on this. Otherwise, no. Like then why not just? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go to seven hundred dollars this week, but that's just a gamble. I mean, let's see if you want to pick a cheaper put. Why 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 to fifty nine? Let's say you want to just risk until hundred dollars, right? Eight hundred and fifteen dollars. Let's see on the premium side. Eight hundred and fifteen is also uh, no. Puts, puts are just not working out. You can have some puts. To make the puts work, you first need to lose this 50 days moving average and $883 range and that 200 and that trend line. Then you can trade the puts at least until 859. So for the puts, in my opinion, guys, anything that makes you money until 859, which means you, have, you can go only puts until like 870 or so, those are tradable for this week uh, just because we have so much support sitting and uh, if any cool off happens the only type of cool off i can see happening is until 859 and if we break that then maybe a little bit lower but nothing below 824 but to be on the safer side anything that makes you money above 859 on the put side in that range or even until let's say 824 and above but that's getting a little bit more risky as well but on the safer side that will be puts only if you can find any until 859 in my opinion uh, as i'm saying it's an earning time for nvidia coming up analysts are sitting right there one after the other they might come out as to upgrade and price will be you know making moves in my opinion possibly to the upside but we'll see Te technicals is what i like to focus and i did a video on that already check that out on my channel uh, right over here all right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out this My Dividend Portfolio channel. Again, link will be in the description below. And with that, guys, I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye.